and it cost a thousand rand. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kinelo Mioli. If you're here for the first time, I hope that you will like it, share, and subscribe on the red button below to become part of the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. Um, so guys, we the family is growing, and if you are new, I would really appreciate it if you say hi in the comment section so I can welcome you properly. So in today's video, I thought I'd do something a bit different and um, i think a lot of you know by now that i'm trying to lose um weight especially belly fat that i got when i had a baby um but also throughout the years i've always tried to shed weight um have belts um waist trainers i wasn't so consistent back then because i didn't have like a big issue with my tummy until i had baby and i think lockdown happened in march right march 2020 and i went back to work mid february so i was back at work for like a month before locked um, lockdown happened and gyms closed etc etc so guys i'm really not good my child I'm really not good um, working out by myself and I've just been so scared to go to gym um, but in the meantime I decided to get um, a waist trainer I actually have one I just don't know where it is that I got but it's a carry wall I'll try to insert a picture on the screen somewhere but it's a carry wall belt that I wore when after I gave birth yes i think it's around 500 i bought that carry well belt and i didn't wear it immediately after my c-section because of the wound um the person who was helping me said i can't wear it immediately and so i stayed at the hospital for the three days four nights and on the day i was getting discharged i remember asking the nurse by the reception area like when should i start wearing my belt because i was told i can't wear it and that lady was shocked she's like what no you're supposed to have started wearing your belt by now um you're actually supposed to wear it a couple of hours after giving birth but i mean the person who told me not to wear it didn't specify she just said i can't wear it now because of the wound and i was like oh okay i guess i'll have to wait so when i found out i was actually a bit upset because i'm thinking i was supposed to have started earlier fine that happened and i came home i started wearing it but i didn't make it too tight because i don't want to hurt myself and i think is it a week later i went to um they went to remove is it the stitches or they were checking how the wound was doing at my guy's place so i went there um she was yeah no you know that patch there's a patch that they put and here by your wound that's what they were removing because when i got discharged i still had that patch on yeah i think i wasn't straight dressing the wound it had like a bit of um i think it was like a bubble thing and i couldn't put on anything on it so after they removed it it's raining outside i'm sorry if you can hear the sound um after they removed it that's when i could now start dressing my wound right so i spoke to the nurse who works who works with my gynae about the belt and she was like no you're not supposed to wear a belt until after the six after the six weeks appointment and i was like i started asking around people were like mm -mm, girl six weeks will be too late your time you won't go back i remember my grandmother and my mother-in-law also saying Kinelo, why are you not tying your stomach so i tie it sometimes sometimes i wouldn't because i'm thinking the nurse said i mustn't wear the belt so i was a bit confused about that um time went by my stomach didn't really go back to normal um i later found out that you can actually um 
we are supposed to put on a, a dog i remember one of my cousins came and when she saw that belt she was shocked she was like why are you not putting on a dog and i'm like a dog for what so apparently he's supposed to wear a dog um i'm not sure if i'll find a picture to show how you're supposed to put on the dog but i was like no i'm wearing a belt she's like a belt doesn't work <laughs> and i was like why didn't anyone tell me about this belt thing and um so then she said even if you wear the belt just make sure that underneath the belt you have a dog on and i guess it was a bit late because my stomach has never really went back and i've just it's just gotten worse or it's still the same to me um months later i remember i years ago i saw a a belt from cope fit i saw a belt that people would sweat when they took off the belt and it reduced belly fat and i started asking about it on twitter and i remember someone was like mm -mm. she wouldn't recommend it it actually broke not too long after she bought it but they have two types of belts let me actually check for you guys which ones they are okay so they have two types of belt they have the thermosculpt which is the one that i got and they also have the hybrid um belt which i didn't get which is the one that they said tore very quickly so i decided to get the thermosculpt one and it cost a thousand rand a thousand rand i actually remember someone on twitter was like can you look are you why are you wasting money buying a belt for a thousand rand but i was so desperate to lose the belly fat guys i bought the um and the belt for a thousand rand and the belt is fine i remember when i eventually it was in, it was a thousand rand including delivery and when i purchased it they did mention that they were out of stock and that i need to pay to um secure my belt whenever they arrive so i paid the thousand red and i think i got it within a month three four weeks which they did say so i wasn't mad about that i paid a thousand rand and the belt um they did say they hope that i will use it because i was chatting to someone on the instagram and they said um i must make sure to use the belt so i kind of used it a couple of times and definitely when you are working out the belt when you're working out the belt is very useful um so you get to sweat a lot when you take off the actual belt you'll see a lot of sweat on the belt and you'll see sweat dripping from your stomach but then my problem was i was wearing the belt when i wasn't working out as well so that didn't work out too great um the belt was uncomfortable like it would hurt me when i actually let me show you guys the belt um let me just fix it so this is how the belt looks it's a thermosculpt belt so my problem was that when i would wear it um this part here let me show you guys this part here would touch my skin no matter how i tried to put it straight um and it wasn't very comfortable so i would wear it while i'm sitting working and it wasn't very comfortable so i actually wouldn't advise that you wear it when you're not working out or alternatively wear it on top of your clothes so that's what i started doing i would wear it a lot during the day on top of my clothes and it was okay but i don't think the belt is meant for that reason the belt is purely meant for when you're working out so if you're not working out i don't think the belt is useful because i haven't really seen a difference and i've been wearing it almost every day for the past maybe six months or so but guys there's no difference the only difference you see when you are working out and it's on your stomach and the sweat is dripping and most of the time when you're working out it's touching your skin it's actually painful so um yeah i remember one of my friends also asked like does the belt work so i just thought i'd do a video on the belt um also another thing they don't say i don't think they say in the packaging like how you're supposed to wash the belt i see it doesn't look too clean so i'm sorry about that um also recently when i was working out i 
noticed now that the belt is a bit torn or loose like i don't think it shows but here so it's not very secure so actually i think i wouldn't i won't be able to use this for for very long which is sad because guys i paid a thousand rand for this belt um okay you'll see here you see here yeah uh, it's starting to tear so it becomes loose as well when i'm working out with it Um, so i got it in a size large i can't remember how um their sizes work but they actually do say that you should before you order and you're not sure you're not sure of your size rather um chat to them on the dms or email or whatever and ask them or tell them how like your measurements or how much you weigh or what size you wear and they will advise you accordingly and i think also on the um, highlights they have a size chart as to which size you can take and uh, when you're ordering with them um so for my okay let me show you guys how the belt looks yeah let me show you guys okay guys so this is my my foop <laughs> so guys have kids so this is how um the belt looks right go back so they did say you don't put it tight this is what you would do right and then you pull this and you put it straight okay let me just do this right and then you have and then you pull it like this right but as you can see, it's not even sitting straight anymore. Okay, you do this, right? And then you pull this and you put it here. So this is how the belt sits. It's very secure. I love how it sits. So yes, you guys, that's the belt. So my final um, remarks and review on the belt is that um is the belt good does it work yes it does only when you are exercising not when you're sitting around um is it worth a thousand rand hmm. i mean if you have money yes but if you don't and you're not gonna use the belt rather don't buy it don't be like me um yeah i think if you're definitely sure that you're gonna have time to work out and do all that stuff rather do that i did see those other companies that are selling similar belts um, and my problem with those companies is that they are so secretive about how much they are selling the belt for i remember this one person who had to dm them for like for the price so i think for me that's a bit of a turn off if you're gonna ask me to dm you for the price it probably means that you are charging different prices depending on who you are and also i saw this belt from COVID from um mostly influencers so i'm not sure and celebrities so i'm not sure if they were gifted with the belt or if they genuinely like the belts but it's a it's a great belt guys i don't regret um spending a thousand rand on it what i do regret is not working out as much as i am supposed to especially because of the price that i paid so i hope that this video um will assist you in making a decision whether you should invest in this belt or not um so if you think that there's someone that will benefit from watching this video please share this video with them um remember to like comment and subscribe as well subscribing is very important um until the next one bye